Course in Miracles, Lesson 33, February 6, 2021. Today, uh, there's another, there is another way of looking at the world. Today's idea is an attempt to recognize that you can shift your perception of the world in both its outer and inner aspects. A full five minutes should be devoted to the morning and evening application. In these practice periods, the idea should be repeated as often as you find profitable, though unhurried applications are essential. Alternate between surveying your outer and inner perceptions, but without an abrupt sense of shifting. Merely glance casually around the world you perceive as outside yourself, then close your eyes and survey your inner thoughts with equal casualness. Try to remain equally uninvolved in both and to maintain this detachment as you repeat the idea throughout the day. The shorter exercise periods should be as frequent as possible. Specific applications of today's idea should also be made immediately when any situation arises which tempts you to become disturbs, disturbed. Tempts you to become disturbed. I like that. I invite you to become disturbed. The shorter exercise period should be as frequent as possible. Specific applications of today's ideas should also be made immediately when any situation arises which tempts you to become disturbed. I love that so much because I was just saying yesterday how we, um, we give our power to people and then we get mad at them for taking it when it was us that gave it. Um, so it is tempting. It is tempting to give people your power and then get mad at them for not following the script that you're writing in your head for them. Um, okay. Okay. So for specific applications which tempt you to become disturbed, you're going to say, there's another way of looking at this. There is another way of looking at this. So there's another way of looking at the world. Inside and outside, five minutes, twice, you know, once in the morning, once at night. There's another way of looking at the world. Inside, outside, inside, outside. And then this morning's practice period, what, what I did towards the end of the practice period was holding, looking at the outer world. And as you're saying, there's another way of looking at the world as you're looking. So say I'm looking at this Thing my teacher made from Hiller School. There's another way of looking at the world. Saying it as I'm looking at something in the outer world, like my this painting from my teacher, and also having a, an awareness of what's happening inside. So holding the outer world and the inner world at the same time, as I say, there's another way of looking at the world. At first, you're going to practice doing one or the other, inside, outside, and you could just keep doing it like that. But what we did in the practice period, what came was to witness the outer and inner at the same time. And what happens when I say, there's another way of looking at the world as I'm looking at my teacher's painting or my oils. There's another way of looking at the world. What happens inside as, as I'm looking outside, holding them both together. Because remember, both realities shift together. Okay. Remember to apply today's idea the instant you are aware of distress. It may be necessary to take a minute or so to sit quietly and repeat the idea to yourself several times. Closing your eyes will probably help in this form of application. All right. So there's another way of looking at the world. Five minutes, morning and evening. And throughout the day, there's another way of looking at the world. Unhurried inside, outside, or both together, very casual, glancing casually around, no, uh, um, no hurrying. Um, and then whenever you are tempted to become disturbed or the instant you are aware of any distress, there's another way of looking at this. There's another way of looking at this. All right, so 33, lesson 33.
very exciting. Thanks for being on this journey with me. It's been my pleasure so far. All right, so I almost I almost told, gave you the uh, lesson for tomorrow just to be a rebel. All right, have a good night. See ya. See you tomorrow. Love you. Bye.